guys. I'm back. <laughs> Hi, guys. <clears throat> you are on my page um, called Tammy Loves. If you're watching this, and uh, my name is Tammy, and I named that page Tammy Loves because I bring you all of the things that I love, and I hope you will love them too. So, I thought that was a good name, and I love all kinds of things, so I couldn't z zero, zero in um, on one thing. So, <laughs> anyway, let me, um, let me bring you down here, and let me refresh you as to what I've been doing. Um, so, I have some books that I've had for a long time. They are just regular old, you know, uh, books. Um, and I took the jackets off. I always take the paper jackets off of my hardback books, especially if the binding is pretty like these. Um, these are great to decorate with. They're great to use, you know, to put uh, something on. Uh, if you feel like, oh, everything's all the same height, it's nice to stagger them. I don't like that this one's blue with the black one necessarily, but um, you, know, you could stagger it like this and you could put, you know, a lamp or like a short little lamp or a some candlesticks or something, then you've got another level here, and then you've got another level on the actual table. Um, they're great to do in bookcases like that as well. Have some down, have some up, but they're way less busy. If you go to your book uh, collection and you take the jackets off and really look at, your, at the spine of your books, how pretty they can be. So I was on a little bit earlier, and I was working with uh, old paper. I have tons of old paper laying here and I covered one of my books, okay? And um, I jumped out um, to go have dinner <laughs> and um, I'm back in. I was letting my book dry so it all worked out perfect. So I'm back in and all I did was I ripped up book pages. So like this is a, a small dictionary, and the one thing that you want to do is you, I always like to do this, but I like to take this banding off. Now some people like that, but to me that's uh, distracting and a little busy. And when I show you my book, you'll see why I don't I don't need that extra um, distraction. I I use all the good stuff. So <clears throat> so there. There you go. And then you can tear that down from there. You know, if you need certain sizes or certain shapes, you can just rip it on down, but you don't have all of that edging to mess with. Um, I just, that's a personal preference on my part and just a suggestion for you. Of course, you do it however you want. So once, so I use just regular old Mod Podge. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, just Mod Podge. And um, you want to, um, Put it, put it on your book first and then you put your pieces on and as you put your pieces on, you keep painting the Mod Podge on so that the pages have something to stick to. And so here is my book at this point and it's really good. Like I'm happy with that. Um, I've got, I've still got a little bit, this is still wet. I've got some wet places still, but it's wet underneath. The top surface is dry so I can't, just can't push my fingernail into it. Um, and then here after it dried, I see I've got a little spot missing, so I'll fix that later. And then one other thing that I want to do is, and you know, I don't know why this is so shiny. I bought the, um, I bought the matte, matte finish. It says it right there, matte finish. But for some reason, I am shining like a light bulb. I hate that. But anyway, it's fine. So, um, so I have my book done. And I know, so I was looking like what's missing, what's wrong. And this spot right here, you can see a little bit of the black book through it. So I don't like that. The other thing that I don't like, uh, the other thing that I don't like, I see someone watching here from um, Kentucky. Hi, Elisa. Thanks for watching. See how this, you can still see the color of that spine, but I am not going to mess with trying to stuff, um, you know, any pages or anything like that down in there. I just think that's, it's, that's going to be too hard to get it right. I'm just going to take an artist brush with the cream colored paint and paint this in to make it go away. I don't even have to do anything with it, honestly, because I usually just display this side. So when the books are stacked, you're really only going to see this except for the top one. Um, so hi, Tammy. Um, so, the, well, oh, there's someone, 
someone from Indiana. Hi, Gail. Gosh, you guys are from all around. Hello, thank you for saying hi. So um, I'll paint that on the top and the bottom. See that? It's just a little distracting for my eye. Um, if you're just doing it for yourself and you're not you know, gonna be marketing your books or anything, it doesn't matter. Um, also, I told you earlier um, when I was originally starting these that whenever you have anything hanging over, it's best to wait till it's dry and then it just cuts, it just snips right off. I probably can pull that, it's so small. Um, and there's that little triangle that was giving us fits earlier. It's still a little damp, but it cut right off. So, um, and then I also, in case you're really investigating here, I also have a little bit still showing there and there I see. So I've got a little bit of patching to do, but this isn't why I brought you in. I wanna show you what you can do to take your book to the next level. Like there's so many things we can still do at this point, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to do to make it really, really cute. Hey Debbie, hi. So I'm gonna put your phone, I'm gonna put my phone down here. So I might not be able to see your comments as well. Let's see, maybe, uh, Sometimes I'm lucky to even see your comments, honestly. You know that. If you, anybody that follows me knows half the time it doesn't even let me see your comments. But let's see. Yeah. Okay, I can watch you down here. Oh, oh I got my sound up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so maybe I can keep trying to do it all. <laughs> we'll see. So what I wanted to do though, and I started this a little bit because my hand gets tired and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, um, and I don't care about the inside cover. Again, if I was doing these, I maybe would cover the whole inside, this side of it, I don't know. I just, I just need the edges to be good and the cover to be good. That's all I care about. And usually when I'm doing a house, they, that's what they see too when I take our things to just to use in their homes. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna punch some holes and we're gonna decorate the pages side of the book. Okay, and I'm not gonna do that to all three. I'm only gonna do that to one of them because I want, because I can't show this side of the book and this side of the book when I decorate my fireplace. This all started because I have I wanna do my fireplace and I, um, I, wanted, I knew I was gonna want some books for the color of it, for the white against my dark brown bricks, and for the fact that I needed some lifts and levels and stuff. So I thought I would do three um, real quick. So I started doing some hole punching. And let me show you my rhyme, no reason here. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't really have one, but kind of. Kind of had a plan. So I cut just whatever I thought felt like the hole puncher could take, and I did two. See, I did two. Then in the next little section, I did one. Okay, and then I come over here and off-centered. So I did, so like I have two, one on each end, one in the middle. Then the next one will be like here. And then the next page, I'm gonna go here. So I'm just like randomly trying to punch holes. Okay, so here's my set for here. So that falls in between these two then this one falls in between there. Not sure if that makes sense. You know, if, if you're like really confused, um, I'm trying to break it into, into quarters and trying to break it up a little bit and I'll show you why. But if you want, if that's like, I don't understand what she's saying, do two in the first bundle and then do one in the next bundle and then do two and then do one and you'll be fine, okay? It'll be, it'll be marvelous, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and punch just a handful more. My hands kind of had a little rest, so I'll go until my hand gets tired again. And then, um, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with all of these holes, okay? So I'm gonna do one on each end, not a certain mark, it's just random. Doesn't matter where it hits. Hi, Sherry, you did catch me live. That's awesome. Hey, Stacy. thanks for watching, you guys. From Buffalo, New York. Awesome. I would love to go to New York someday. Never been. Okay, so right there in the middle is where I did one. So now this one, I'm gonna offset it right here. Just a little bit. So I'm just pretending like I have my one on the end and my one in the middle. And I'm just kinda gonna put a punch there, okay? Then I'm gonna get the next little bunch. However many I think my cutters will go through. If you get too many, it's a pain. Um, and then I'm gonna, so then I'm gonna go in the center pretending, okay? 
That's how I'm doing it, all right? And then I'll go back to the middle. Since I'm right here, I don't wanna do another one right here, right, right beside of it. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go back to the middle, which I know that's right beside, but I don't know, blonde thinking, I guess. Oh, I might be able to get that page. Okay, and then I'm gonna do two. So really, there's no pattern. I'm just kind of doing, you know, um, random holes, just random. Literally, you could start here, next section, next section. You could work your way down, and then you could work your way back, or you could come back and go again. It's, it's however you wanna do it, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next, and then you can decide how you wanna punch your holes. Hey, thanks. I got happy faces, and I'll take them. I'll take anything, and, and also, let me, I just happened to think of this. If you wouldn't mind, oh, if you wouldn't mind, um, let's see, let me flip you, I'm gonna flip you. If you wouldn't mind doing that for me, that would be really awesome, really, really awesome. So, okay, um, let's keep going here. I was trying to think of, um, I was trying to think if we had a crowd on here, I would do um, a giveaway, but I'm trying to think, what do I have handy to give away that I could actually show you? I have some Easter crafts that I made over there um, since I'm changing out my fireplace. You know, we make all these crafts, and what the heck are you going to do with all of them? Like, I can't keep everything. So, <laughs> anyway, I have some really cute Easter crafts. Um, how about I pick a name here? Um, let's say if we hit... 75. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I think we can do it. So if you guys do this, whoops, whoops, <laughs> you guys do that, and we hit 75 uh, watchers, then I will draw, um, actually, I'll draw two names. How about that? I'll draw two names, but I can't show you. Oh, I can show you, but I don't want to get up and get it right now. I want to keep busy with this in case there's some people that don't really care about that. Um, yeah, let me know if we happen to get to 75, I will give away two of my Easter <laughs> uh, creations. How about that? Okay, so I'm almost done here. And then the next part is great, like if you're sitting and watching a TV, which, you know, tonight the Ozarks is back on. I don't know if you guys were into Ozark, but it, oh, I better dump my... Starting to see a few of my little things fly. Oh yeah, my my cutter thing, my little flap here was full of dots. Um, yeah, Ozark is on tonight. Back the new series, the new um, season. So if you were happen to be a watcher of Ozark, thank you guys. Thank you, Kathy and Penny. Thank you so much. We'll see if we can't get. Um, see how that number went up just that little bit. Just you two girls, right? Awesome. And then that's just all the more people that don't know about my page or about, you know, the things that we do. And there's, um, yeah, what are you going to do with all of it? Yep, you got to get creative, girlfriend. Miss Sherry, got to get creative and start um, making things. But the problem is then you love everything you make and you don't want to get rid of it. So we got 57. Yes, that is backwards, Stacy. You're funny. That's funny. Okay, so I made it to the end of my book. Okay, so I'm just randomly, randomly punching these holes. Some of you guys may have seen me do this. I've done this once or twice maybe in the past, but um, I know that out of 11,000 people, only 20 of you find out that I'm going live. So, um, <laughs> you know, I could do the same thing every day and not the same people would not even see it. It's crazy. Um, so... Now, what I have here, next step two, is I took a bunch of, bunch of muslin, which is like curtain material. You'll find if you follow me, I use muslin a lot. So this is muslin and I shredded it. I cut it in what they call shreds. So it's just a big, like a big piece of material and I snip the ends every so often, about inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that, and you pull it and that's how you get these shreds, okay? Then I took my shreds a step further. So see the difference? These are uh, just freshly pulled. These are weathered and antiqued and wrinkled. 
So what I did was I get them wet and you can like tea, put them in tea or co instant coffee or um, um, you, uh, the spray ink that I share with you guys. You know, use all those sorts of things and um, you stain them, just however you wanna stain them. You can stain them pink if you want to. Put a little paint with water and punch them down in that, in that container. It'll soak up that color and wring them out. And then what I do, um, Stacy, it's your first time ever for you. Wow, <laughs> well, welcome. So um, you take a rubber band, I wring them out as best as I can, and then I take rubber bands and I wrap them around and I really squeeze them tight, okay? And then you leave them for a couple of days. Then you come in and you take the rubber band off and they'll be wet in the middle, of course. So then um, I just, don't they look like noodles? <laughs> Looks like I'm making noodles. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so then you re wad them, re rubber band them for a couple more days and then you just lay them out to dry. Just open them up and lay them out and just make sure they're good and dry before you shove them in a drawer or I keep mine in a Ziploc bag. But make sure they're good and dry before you do that, okay? So then now we're gonna just take a piece of the shred, of one shred, and I'm gonna find where my hole starts and stops. Okay, and that one's too small. And I'm gonna put it in the hole. Okay, oh, might need my, oh, and I already put my skewer away. I think here I've got this one for making our books. I'm still making books, you guys, with the, not these kind of books, but well, that's too sharp. That's not gonna work. These books that we're making in our craft group, uh-huh, online, like sweet, right? I started to show you this earlier today and I forgot. For those of you that haven't been following, I have an online crafting group and we do all kinds of crafts, but this has just been a special month. We're making these books. Ooh, we, oh, we need two more people. Somebody left already. Oh, they're, look, they're leaving. Somebody else needs to do this just to get us over that hump for giveaway. Somebody else do this. We can get, what do we need? Four more friends on here. We'll be good. Okay, I'll give you, I'll do two um, giveaways. So, but there's our books and I've got it. We still have to finish sewing the bindings and we've ripped all of the pages and so they're super cool looking. So then, then they'll open like that. So anyway, that's what we're working on over there. But now this is a whole different kind of book. And, oh, here's a pencil. I'll just use a pencil. That's what I need. Something to shove it through there. There you go. That's what I needed. Now I'll have, I'll be losing this pencil all the time. Make them as long as you want. You may want, we may end up cutting them down a bit. Um, you don't have to double tie. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay. And then we're just going to make little sections for our book. Now, this is great for like a wedding gift or, um, look, people are, le are they leaving or are they coming? I think we're losing people. They just don't know what I'm gonna give away, do they? <laughs> they just don't know. Okay. All right, so we'll be able to cut these off if we need to. Um, I kind of like them a little. I'd rather have them long, too long than too short. Number one, they're easier to tie. So now I'm just finding there where my section starts again, shoving um, a little more. I'm not gonna lace up this whole book, I promise. I have something else I wanna show you. What side is that? Stacy? I am doing it on my, um, It's. I have an online group. It's $15 a month and you can get out at any time. It's been a month, let's see, it's been a year, February, and, and two months, almost two months, a year and, and almost two months, and I have all kinds of videos in there, and you have access to all of the videos, and they're very informative. Um, it's a nice little group. It's not a big, crazy group. There's just a handful of us in there, a nice, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 of us. There's not a whole bunch, but it's, it's the best. I didn't see your post, Darla. Hello. I don't recognize you. I think you're new. But you're a top fan, you're not new. How come I don't recognize you? Hi, no, I didn't hear it. Probably people that missed the first part and don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So <clears throat> if you missed the beginning of this or you missed the, the um, video that I did a little bit earlier, I did a Mod Podge. Uh, I did Mod Podge over a book, just a book that I had in my library, okay? And I did old book pages, old, old 
uh, whoops, upside down, <laughs> old book pages and some letters. This one back here, I was kind of nibbing what it said um, while I was waiting on paint to dry. It says, Dear Tammy, I had to use it because my name's Tammy, even though it's spelled different, but still. It says, Dear Tammy, are you still blue? Your letter, and then I cut it off, said, it made us feel bad, but I don't know. And then it says, no, the next day you received my something um, letter and also dad's and Catherine's. Um, and then and then it says a few days um, later, so keep smiling. So that's, I, I ripped it up, so I don't know what all it says, but isn't that sweet? There was a Tammy and she was sad and they sent her letters to make her feel better. <laughs> I think that's sweet. <laughs> uh, we were talking about how I don't read the letters. So anyway, yes, so we did, oh, I said that, I say anyway too much. Um, we covered that with Mod Podge. And then now I'm punching holes randomly throughout the book and then I'm tying and then I've got one more book to show or one more thing to show you if you hang around for a little bit. I ripped all the jackets off of these old books and this is the jacket side. There are three books, you can tell. There's three books, they're really old, so the jackets were really cruddy. So I wanna show you what I would do with those books as well, okay? So you're just gonna thread through the holes and tie the knots. Now, I started to say, this makes a great gift. You'd die before you'd use a book from your library. <laughs> there you go, there you go, Stacy. I, I, I don't really like to do that either, but I needed some books and I, all my old books are like leather jackets or pretty um, antique books, so I didn't wanna do that with those. But So we're getting a start, we're getting a nice start, but by the time we get this done, this will be full of shreds and then this makes like a nice journal, um, not maybe not a journal, but like a like a not something you would write in unless you adhered your note pretty note paper to it. But you would want to um, do like pictures if you had pictures. Like that's not a great picture, but um, like a photo book for a graduation or you know baby shower or something. If it's a vintage type person. Um, it would make a great photo album um, or really just gift it empty and let them fill it, give them the idea and then let them fill it. That would be cool too. So, okay. Okay. So then we just keep going. I need to get it a little bit fuller though so you guys can see how good it looks. I'm just going to go ahead and do some before I came live but I was worried that you would, um, you know, want to see it and be like, well, heck, it's all done. I want to watch her do it. So, I don't know. You never know what the right thing is to do. Uh, okay, so these two, I didn't punch as many there. Let's see here, there we go. There we go. So. Oops, I double tied that. I don't need to double tie that. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So we're gonna stick this in here. Anybody have any questions? But yeah, these books were just sitting on my shelf. I'm never going to read them. I know I'm not. So it wasn't like the end of the world. I had two different bookmarks in this one, like I, where I've tried to read it twice and stopped <laughs> two different places. So forget it. I'm, I, this must have been one I couldn't get into. So um, you're going to have to make it. Great, Sandy. Yes, think of me. And tell all your friends that love on your book. You need to follow my page so they get good ideas too. There's so, there's so many of us online doing wonderful crafts just wonderful. I kind of like doing the keepsake things. I hope you all saw my bottles that we made. I was on how many nights making bottles. Finally got a lot of pictures of them online. Um, I got them priced and stuff so they're over there. At, um, you just have to scroll through the feed to find them because I don't know how to set up a store. I'm still learning all this stuff. Um, 
but we're gonna figure it out. Well, that's just a tiny little section. I could have definitely punched more in that one. Oh well, it's a waste of time here, isn't it? Oh well, this is gonna be your book project, Ginger. That's awesome. Yes, Nancy, it's a great way to make the muslin shreds. This is what you've been doing since you've been off work watching me. <laughs> or are you starting a book? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what you doing, Mo? <laughs> okay, whoops. Got one more there. I think if you miss one, you're in trouble. You just, I would almost, I think if I missed one, rather than having an empty hole somewhere, I would probably cut the page out as tightly as you could. Um, I wouldn't go back and untie and figure it out. I would just cut the page out. That's what I would do. But I've done a lot of these books, actually, over the years. Good grief, I've done a lot. I don't even know how many I've done. But it's, it is a nice little sit and watch TV thing. You know, you don't have to think. It's a think list. You can pay attention to your show and just, uh, you know, tying and finding holes and tying. I was never a crocheter or a knitter or anything like that. I did, Darla. I just used a regular hole punch. Where did it go? I buried it or I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Yep, just a regular little hole punch. Yep, yep. You work with Kelly. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. And you don't have to stain the muslin, you guys. It's a, it's a cleaner look, like if you're not into the vintage, you don't have to use muslin. You could use um, any fabric, any ragged fabric if you want that. I'm at 70, oh wow. We're close, girls, we're close. Are you excited? I gotta decide what I'm gonna give you. I see two different things. I don't know which you would rather have. Maybe I'll let the winner pick what they want. How about, I'm giving two. So you have a notebook that you put sketches Oh, that's awesome. Let me see if I can open this up to see what else she's saying. Yes, you don't have an idea. I'm gonna go browse. Nice, that's wonderful. How nice to do this with an art book, absolutely. Or maybe um, grandma's journal or something like that just to make it even more special to put on your shelf. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if you want to go punching holes in grandma's journal. Maybe you better not do that. Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Your mom might have something to say about that. <laughs> oh boy, did I miss a page here? Oh, I did. Okay, I've never done that before and I just missed a page. How weird is that, you guys? How weird is that? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I told you if I missed a page, I was going to cut it out. That is so weird. I don't, I've never had to do that. Isn't that weird? So there you go, and I just got another page to rip up. And see, no one's gonna read this book. No one is gonna take the time to take all of these off. Let's show you how it looks. 72, we're at 72. Oh, you guys are getting into this, aren't you? Okay, so there, see how it's gonna be all raggy? So how cute if you have a little girl's bedroom and you did it all in pink and white plaid or something, you know, you do not have to make it antique at all, all right? Not at all. How cute to do a, a journal for someone for a gift though. I just think it's wonderful. I just think it's really, really cool. So there you go. That's what we that's what we got going on. So as soon as the whole book is done, it'll be all full of rags like that. But see how all the little sections just come to life? Like it's so obvious where the sections are. And so you guys like this. Yay, thank you for the hearts. I sure appreciate that. But yeah, it just makes it really simple to find the section. So how cool if you put pictures in there or keepsakes of whatever type, you know, any kind of little keepsakey things, poems or whatever, any, um, I can't reach my, wait here, like this. Like I have this book I showed them earlier. I pulled the price tag off and I ruined the book, which makes me angry. But um, I found this cute little book with poetry in it and it's got flowers. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? But so as a keepsake, like I could cut these pages out and affix them to these pages and make like a journal. And then why couldn't I put things in there, buttons or keys and do up the pages even like you scrapbooking girls do. 
You know what I mean? Like that, like you could do it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just getting you started. You guys, I am the um, airplane runway. <laughs> Use me to go fly. Yes, go get some books when you can. Um, you do not have to rip up your good or do up your good ones. And I, you guys, I did this earlier. I started this earlier and I wanted it to dry. My husband went and got pizza. So this, um, so I stopped to let this dry while I had pizza. But this really could be finished on the inside covers, especially if you're gifting it. Just know that I was kind of rushing trying to get it ready. Um, so I probably will go ahead and finish this up. It is just for me and my decor. So I don't really, it doesn't matter if it, I just want to look good on the outside. Anyone that joined late, I realized that I, it's really hard to get, let's see, how can I, there. It's really hard to get that and to get paper down in there right. Even if I got the bulk of it covered, I'd still see a little bit of black, little bit of black which would bug me. So I'm going to paint that, okay? I'm gonna take a little artist brush and a little bit of paint and I'll just dab it in there on both ends. Don't forget the other end, okay? Um, but yeah, it's just a way to dress up the books. And honestly, you know, this one side just looks great like that. And then I'll, I'm going to do the other two books and stack them, but I'm not going to do this to the other two. It takes two books. I mean, obviously, I don't know how long I've been on, but I'm halfway through and, and maybe not quite halfway, but it doesn't take that long. If you, if you aren't talking and stopping, <laughs> if you keep going, heck, I'd have had 20 more pages done if I'd have kept going. <laughs> Yes, you could put a bow on the part that opened, absolutely. Yep, or or I'll show you another idea if you want like to present the book. Oh, that one's too long, but we'll cut them down. But look how cool the long ones are. I mean, there's a long one. Look how cool they would be to be long. Maybe make some long and some short. Um, tie muslin strips to the binding. Hmm. I don't know how would you... Do that. You mean like try to shove it through maybe and tie here? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure what I was thinking was taking maybe, oh, that one's not long enough maybe, but I was thinking of doing like when you get ready to gift it, go in like this, you know, and then maybe doing some sort of a, you know, a, um, some sort of, like you could tie your keys on to the end of it or something like that. Um, might be a cute way or whatever, baby rattles or whatever your gift is for, but that's really cute too. And just lay that, look at that. That would just lay right underneath a lamp and you could put a candle on it or whatever. And isn't that, that is so, I just think it's really pretty and really unique. I think that's the ticket. It's you know, you can go to Hobby Lobby and buy all of these things, and yes, they're great, but, you know, the worst thing, what I hate is when I have something from Hobby Lobby and someone comes in and says, oh, I have that same thing, or, oh, my mom bought that yesterday. Like, that's not, that's not making it special and unique, and so that's the thing with all this handmade stuff. It is um, unique, and so somebody really, they're like, oh my gosh, I love that book. Where did you get it? I've got to get one. And they say, oh, well, I made it. I'm like, oh, you mean I can't go buy one anywhere? And no, they can't because you made it. And so then you got yourself a side hustle. You could say, hey, I'll make you a book. And then you charge them. Whoops. And then you charge them for it. Right? So there you go. I just, not only did I decorate your house, but I just got you a job and gave you gifts to share with your friends and family. So there you go. I hooked you girls up. Totally hooked you up. <laughs> right I got you a job I got you gifts I got you home decor and all with junk that you got junk books that you got sitting on your shelf or in a box under the bed or piled up in the basement getting moldy and some rags how cool is that right how cool is that <laughs> what are friends for it's not a problem <laughs> Run a wide vintage ribbon through the binder and put tassels on the end. Absolutely. Then you kind of have like a bookmarker. Cute. Where do you buy the muslin? Oh, love. Um, you could just get that at, at Hobby Lobby. You could probably get muslin on Amazon. It's just muslin. Um, I know you can get different thicknesses. You don't need very thick. I just get like, I think it's like maybe $2.99 a yard. Like I don't get very expensive. You can get $6.99 a yard. 
I just get the cheap stuff because I'm gonna be cutting it up and shredding it up anyway, so I don't care. And the more expensive, the thicker it is. And so you can get it at any fabric store. Um, muslin is like, it's like a curtain lining, sort of. Um, the heavier would be more like a curtain lining. But um, any, any fabric store, any craft store that sells fabric, try Amazon. If you are having trouble, you message me and I'll find you some somewhere that you'll be able to order. Um, I buy it in the bolt, I buy it by the bolt um, at 50% off at Hobby Lobby uh, because I use it all the time. I use it all the time. We decorate um, weddings and stuff for people, so we use a lot and I do, like I like to use it, I make lampshades, I do all kinds of things with muslin, so um, it's a great crafting fabric. Um, so yeah, that's where you get it. That's where you get it, Stacy. But message me if you're like, got any questions at all. I don't care. I love talking to you guys. And honestly, when you guys message, like I've met so many nice people on here, but to even go a little farther with the talking back and forth, I know, um, was it Leota that I talked to the other night? It was like one o'clock in the morning and we're still texting each other. Was it you? I can't remember if it was you. Or I met another lady, Loretta. It might be the L that's throwing me off, but we had a, we had a big conversation. <laughs> the pizza was fabulous. It was delicious. I had three pieces. <laughs> and it was so good. So, so good. And we've learned when you reheat it to get that crust, crust real um, Crispy again is to put it on a flat pan, a flat skillet on the stove, or any skillet, but I like the square flat ones, and warm it up on the stove. I put a lid over it, and that melts your cheese again. It warms it up, but it makes your crust crispy again. And so that works out really, it works like you just got it from the pizza shop. So that's pretty awesome. Um, could shred and tea dye a bed sheet. Absolutely, you could do a bed sheet. You could do old lace curtains or an, whoops, that one's already cut. Uh, lace curtains or an old lace tablecloth. You don't have to use a solid fabric. You could use lace strips. Um, just, yep, that's where I'm like Barb from the Shabby Tree and I tell you, get creative, because that's her motto. Get creative. You guys, I'm sure you guys all know her. She's awesome. Um, get an old cotton one from Grandma. There you go. There you go. Let's see. You're gonna make one. I love that. Walmart carries muslin. That's right, Nancy. I didn't even think about Walmart. Absolutely. I'm not sure any of those places will deliver muslin to you right now. I don't know that it's an emergency. For you, it might be an emergency, but it might not be on the emergency. Um, oh, there's another one cut. Uh, might not be on the emergency uh, list of staples, but um, yeah. I would say if you need it delivered, try Amazon. They're still coming. You're making homemade pizza tomorrow night. Oh, Vicki, that sounds like a plan. The perfect thing for a Saturday night. <laughs> I'm upbeat. Well, you might as well be happy. What are your choices? Happy or sad or grumpy? I'd rather be happy, right? Rather be happy. Oh, gosh, I have a bunch of... I told you guys I've made these books before, so I must have cut pre-cut a bunch. Because that's the perfect length. I had big long. I'm gonna end up and get this book done. We still haven't hit. No, we still haven't hit 75. I forgot to be looking. I'm giving away two gifts if we hit 75. So, you know what you have to do to do that? Do that. If you do that, then maybe we'll hit 75. Only if you like this though, you guys. Don't do that if you're like, I don't really want my friends to, this is not the image I wanna portray or whatever, like if you're not into this, you don't, don't, don't do it. I don't want them saying, what the heck were you sharing the other night? <laughs> Barbara, I'm making a book. I'm, I'm tweaking a book. I'm making some home decor for my fireplace mantle. I'm kind of tired of it. I did it, um, Oh, you saw 73? No kidding, Stacy. I better be watching. Um, we, uh, I, I'm just tired of my fireplace. I did it up for spring and I did it way early. And so I'm tired of it and I'm ready to make it back to vintage again. Um, and so I, I wanted some books and all of my books are 
already out in my decor. So I went to my library and pulled some old um, Danielle Steele, who, uh, I think these are, I think this is a Jackie Collins, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> we won't talk about her, right? She's kind of a little ornery maybe. Um, but I hadn't read these books in years. I'm not even sure I read it. I don't know that I even got through this. It's awfully crispy to have been read. Um, so I am making decor, but I'm showing them how to take the decor a step further. And you could probably, um, you could probably do, um, oh, we're, we hit it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give away two prizes. Oh, we're at 77. See what a difference? That's why we always ask you girls to do this for us because when you do that, do you see how the numbers just go boom up to the moon, right? So I'm gonna give away two prizes, so stay on here because I'm gonna draw your name on here, but oh, well, I better get them right now because you guys might wanna get off and be done. Hang on, I see them, they're right over there, right there, I just can't get there. So hang on, let me go around this chair to get to them, hang on. Whoever I pick, they can just pick what they want. So let me scroll through. Hey, hey Randy. Yep. Will you look at my video and pick two names? Randomly. That'll be fair. I'll get my husband in here. He can, he can pick. And then you guys can't be mad at me if I don't pick your name, right? Yeah. What? Here. You were relaxing? <laughs> he was relaxing in his chair. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to be fair, honey. I wasn't planning on doing this, actually. Okay, so here's the deal. Randy's going to pick... Amanda. Rand Wait a minute. Amanda. He already said Amanda. Where's Amanda? I don't even see Amanda. Hang on. I need my glasses. Where are my glasses? I wasn't planning on doing this, you guys, so I wasn't ready. Hang on. I'm not putting you on. You don't have to get on. Okay, Amanda. Let me find Amanda so I can tell her her last name. Rebecca. I don't see an Amanda. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Okay. He needs his glasses here. Get in there and look. Pick somebody. Stacy Young. Stacy Young. Okay, Stacy Young. Um, how do I do this? Uh, let's see. Okay, Stacy Young. <laughs> Hang on. Don't leave. I need you to pick another one. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me write this down. Stacy Young Oops. and Penny Morrison. And Penny Morrison. Okay, girls. Morrison. My husband has picked Stacy Young and Penny Morrison. Okay? So, you two girls get to pick from some crafts that I've made in the past. Um, okay, I'm going to let you pick. So I made these uh, carrots out of an old tablecloth or a bedspread. I think this was a bedspread. I think it was a bedspread. And I put the muslin shreds, they're not stained, and then I wrapped it in jute so you can pick a carrot. So both of you girls, Stacy Young and Penny Morrison, I have two, so you can each pick a carrot if you want, one carrot each. Or, um, let's see, or I made these little, um, I made these in the spring craft-a-thon, and I, I made one in my online group that we were talking, oh, I started talking about that. Somebody asked me about that. Shoot, I hope they're still here. It's called Tammy's, uh, Tammy Loves Creating Vintage Treasures, and if you go to TammyLoves.com, you can sign up, and that's where we are making right now. I mean, this craft is in there. There's so many crafts in there already, but um, we're making these books. The, these are like amazing, right? So I'm teaching the girls in there how to make these books right now. So it's $15 a month. Get out whenever you want. doesn't matter. Get in, learn everything, and jump out. So you can pick from one of these. <laughs> I made these. And then, um, or the other thing is last year I made these garlands. Now I hope you don't both want one. Whoever messages me first with what they want, if you both say I want the pink bunny garland, then 
the first one that messages me gets gets it. So Stacy Young or Penny Morrison, okay? Stacy Young or Penny Morrison. Now these I made out of um, what do they call that? Uh, paper paper mache. Yeah paper mache and I had the tiny little cookie cutters and I mixed it all up and I rolled it out and I cut them up and then I painted them and then I threaded them on. <laughs> so, yep. So everything I made. So I'm giving away two things. So, and then here's the other one you can pick from is a yellow one. I have a pink one or a yellow one. Whoops. I'm picking up shreds. Pink, and it's on a muslin shred. You guys say, what do you do with the muslin shreds? Well, there you go. So, all right, so you can pick from the two garlands, the two carrots, or the two cardboard bunny um, things. So what do you guys think? How's that? How's that? Is that good? Stacy Young. You get to pick one, Stacy Young. And so you'll have to message me through, can you message me through Messenger? I'll, I'll get with you because I need your address too, and you don't want to put that on here. So when we're all done, if you jump out and message me in Messenger, um, you can have the either either one of the two garlands or one of the two bunnies or one of the two carrots. Okay, so yay, yay, that's fun. Awesome choices. Well, yes, you can have a carrot. Absolutely. Okay, Stacy wants a carrot. So, do you want the the bigger one or the smaller one? Let's see. How can I do that? <laughs> I have a big one. Let's see. Yeah, I have one that's a little bit. So this one's smaller. And the smaller one has the silver in the button. Let's see. And then the big one has the plain pearl button. Oh gosh, this is hard. There you go. <laughs> so let me know which one you want. Is Penny still on? I don't know. I don't know. And what do we do about that if Penny's not on? I feel like you have to pick somebody else, right? Because she should have to be here to know what she's getting. Yes, Randy says she has to be here. So Penny. Here, somebody else. Oh, he's ready to pick somebody else. Penny, you're gone. So nobody mentioned Penny again because she's gonna feel terrible. Right? Is that how people do this? I don't even know. But Stacy wants a carrot. So Stacy, you can let me know which, which carrot you want, the big one or the little one. The big one has a pearl and the little one has a little silver in it. Okay, Randy's gonna pick. Thanks, Helena. I made those carrots online here in my in my page here. Um, if you want to look back, you'll find them. Randy, can you pick me another name? Uh, Penny, wait a minute, Penny. Wait, who, oh, is that, oh, there's Penny. She's here. Okay. Yay, Penny Morrison. She'd like the page. Yay, Penny, that makes you feel good. Okay, so you want one of these? Um, oh, <laughs> you want one of these? Penny, um, let me see, how can I say which one? Okay, I have one with three pieces of lace and I have one with just one little piece of lace in the corner, okay? So Penny, you let me know. Um, yay, I'm so glad you're here, Penny. I didn't know how that was gonna work. <laughs> so yay, all right, let's get back down to business. Yay, I'm glad Penny's here. Okay, let's get back down here. So, wow, that was exciting. So, now I know. I mean, I've done giveaways before, but not two of them, I guess. You saw me making them? Oh, great. Okay, oops, I got my pencil in here. So, this is what this book is gonna be like. Penny is here, Penny is back. Yay, Penny, Penny Morrison. My husband drew your name, so let me know. Those were your, those were your second choice, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is what your book's gonna look like. See how cute, I mean, you can stand it up and you still see these. So you can show off the front and the side. You can kind of angle a little bit. You could totally lay it just this way or you could totally lay it this way and forget about the shreds on the back. However, however you wanna do it. But I think it's awesome. Again, great for a little gift um, for keepsake treasures. You could make it for a graduation gift and put graduation pictures inside. Um, and then you can tie it up with more muslin. So I'm not gonna do any more on this one because you get the idea, I'm almost done anyway. So it doesn't take that long. I felt like it takes a long time, but it really, I guess it really doesn't. So, okay, now these books were really crispy old. Really, really, really old. So like the, the bi or the, um, yeah, the, uh, is it the binder? I can't, I'm not even thinking now. I'm so excited for those girls. <laughs> And they actually liked what I, what I made. That's awesome. 
Drew Worthy must watch. Oh, bless your heart. Yes, look back. You'll find them. And Stacy, wait till you look back because I made one with feather. Everybody liked the feather one. And I'm keep. Hey, Ra Randy. Yes. Are you up? <laughs> Will you bring me the feather on that glass cab? The glass cab. The cabinet in the dining room, sort of in the my new glass cabinet, over the white porcelain knob drawer in in the other room. The feather with the feather hanging over the side by the light, by the floor light. He doesn't know where anything is. Why would he know where a carrot is with a feather in it, right? He's a manly man. He doesn't he doesn't even know he has a carrot with feathers in it in his house. You find it on the top? No. And the feathers hanging over towards the floor lamp. I want to show Stacy. You find it? No. <laughs> Black feather, yeah. It is a carrot. He says it's not a carrot. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to ask him for anything else. No. This is the most interaction he's done in my page ever. <laughs> so here's my here's my other carrot that I made on the same video, and I love it. Everybody was liking the feather. Isn't that funny? I I had this fabric. I taught you guys. You guys need to stick with me. I teach you the best stuff. So I taught you how to run your canvas or muslin. Somebody says what I do with muslin. Run it through the printer and make patches with it, okay? So you run this through the printer. Then you cut it out and you roll it up. This is just newspaper in here that I learned from um, Renee at uh, for your eyes only it was her page and I watched one of her videos and she was showing how she made her carrots and it was easier than I had been making mine and then while I was looking at this um, piece of canvas that I had I thought what can I stick out of the top that's fluffy and I had greenery but I wanted it to be more rustic so I, I had these big feathers from my daughter's wedding so <laughs> I thought well I'm gonna try it because the black would pull the black right and I absolutely love it. And I had the sweetest comments from like, there was over 400 comments on that video. It was a big one for me. Like I'm just a little page. That was big for me. So yeah, so I made these two carrots at the same time that I made this. So anyway, thank you, Randy. So that's it. You guys got me all excited about my carrots. So, okay, let's get back down here. Let's get back to business before I lose ya. Okay. So I have three books. Um, these are old, 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 obviously. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is in another language even. I've gotten this to craft with the pages. Look at that. It's in another language. German, maybe I'm thinking. I'm thinking that because I don't know. It just looks German to me. I don't know. I have to ask my uh, my stepdad is German. <laughs> he would know. He would know if I'm over there and he's on a phone call with his family. It's, it's so funny to listen to him talk. Uh, not funny, but interesting. That's what I should say. And then this is just some history book. I don't even know. I love this stuff, you guys. I could just, I know you guys have all messaged me all the time how much you learn from watching me. And I'm thrilled about that. Thrilled about that. So let's see. These peach, these got mixed up. That goes with that book and this. That doesn't even look like it goes with any of them. Okay, so the, actually though, there's three books here. They're just so janky. Um, you told me to use them? Oh, Stacy, that's hysterical. That's hysterical. <laughs> you were there. You were there. Yeah, everyone was loving on the feathers. I thought this is gonna, I'm gonna, they're gonna drop like flies when I rip these, when I rip these feathers out. But it backfired. You guys were like on it. So, okay, now I love, I love this. I know it's a lot. It's a bit much. And I'm not, I am not really a rustic person, I guess. I don't know what my style is. I, I don't know what my style is. Um, maybe it's a little more, if you really look at my, like, I've done a couple of trips around the house showing you guys my things. I need to do that again. I keep saying that. Um, oh, Google the word. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. I'm not sure I'm, I don't know that I'm that into it, but I could do that for sure. 
And I might do that on the back side just out of curiosity, you know, just to know what I got. But I'm not ripping it up. I'm trying to find two long ones here is what I'm doing. Okay, I think I've got two long ones. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just like I showed you that you could do with the other book to gift it. Hey, Kim, hi. Vintage, yeah, I'm definitely vintage. I feel like there's a um, kind of a cottage shabby chicness too. Like not shabby chic, because that's more, to me, that's a little more romantic. What? I don't know, I got romantic stuff. You see those bottles I made? Now those are stinking romantic, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know how you can make a bottle romantic, but I pretty much tried. If you need to see pictures, well, they're right here. Who, who missed the bottle videos? I got bottles coming out my ears. Let's see, can I, oh, you wanna see them? <laughs> You want me to keep going with the books? You want to see the bottles? Did anybody see the bottles? You don't need to get a mic on. Randy's like, uh-uh. <laughs> yes, I, I'm eclectic because I think I have a mix of all of that stuff. But um, you did get to see the bottle tutorial. Good, good. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we've made lots of bottles on this page. So, okay, let me put you back down then. Since everybody's already seen the bottles, that's good. I wasn't sure who's with me and who's, you know, do I have a new crew here tonight or whatever. So, okay. <clears throat> so, oh, I put, I cut those in half. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm thinking, how many presents have you wrapped in your lifetime? You ought to know which way's up and which way's down. So I'm pulling that really tight. Definitely a vintage flair here, without a doubt. I just love antiques, but you know, not just any antiques though. Now let's just get that straight for sure because there's antiques that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole and then there's antiques that I'm like crazy for so I don't know everyone collects different things but it is fun people do learn I think um, you know when they see things like this so I'd love to share my treasures I've learned whoops I've learned a lot about them too so okay I, I crisscrossed them then I undertucked you saw that so that they were all in one place. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull it tight. Okay. So this is like Pottery Barn has these books. They're not like legit real. And I'm not trying to, um, you know, put them out of business or anything. <laughs> but you guys can rip up your own books and tie them all up. Nope, I didn't leave it long enough, I don't think. Okay, I don't like that. Yeah, we don't want to put Pottery Barn out of business. I love Pottery Barn, right? Just can't afford Pottery Barn. <laughs> it's kind of pricey. Okay, let's go this way. All right, I'm just gonna take two. Okay, and I'm gonna tie a bow. All right, all right, now I got it. Yes, you guys, I keep telling you, go back and watch my older videos. Um, you know, yes, you need to watch the older things that you gather. Right, right, right. But yeah, there's there's so many videos on this page. Um, you guys are, I know a few of you have because you've written, you've written me and talked about some of the things that I've done. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so we have the shreds now. I'm not done. So I'm going to these keys in here. I'm glad you like the bottles. Thank you. So I'm going to put a couple of keys on here, of course, because you know, that's just my thing. Okay. My goodness, we got 85. I might have to give away two more things if we get, what, 100, you think? No, I, I mean, yeah, sure I will, but I don't think I'll be here for 100, you guys. I'm I'm just about wrapped up here. We're just, whoops, we're just about done. But if you hit 100 before I'm done, we'll give away two more. Oh, except Randy doesn't want to come back in. <laughs> well, he would. We asked him really nice. Where's my other key? Oh, here it is. I pulled two keys out because I did plan this one. I don't always plan, but... Oh, you love the door plates. Yes, actually, I found two more and I was trying to organize my drawers and I found two more, so I need to do a couple more. Um, 
Maybe I'll do those live. You love the keys on it? Oh, good. You're gonna be a picker, yeah. You're gonna be like me. You're gonna be like me. Thank you, Ginger. That's so sweet. So sweet. I know I'm a little bit much because I get too excited. I get too excited and then I get loud. Like my husband's always saying, tone it down, tone it down. And I'm always like, get so excited. It just comes out, that's too long. If I cut it off, it'll be too short. I don't want it hanging. Well, maybe I do want it hanging. Oh, that's the wrong side. I don't want to. Oh, no, that's the right side. I can't even tell they're so bad. They're so mush, messy. No, I don't think I like it hanging over. You can't see it. It needs to be up here with its friend. Let's see if I can get this untied somehow. I didn't even knot it. Good grief. I pulled, I pulled her pretty tight, though. That's why I say you don't really have to double knot muslin because it really holds. There. I got it. Okay, so I just want to put it where I want it. I'm going to put it on up here a bit. And then we'll tie it down. Okay, your husband picked up a few door plates. He did? Oh, that's awesome. So many people messaged me that they were gonna go hit their, their dad's garage or their husband's garage or their grandpa or whatever. They were gonna hit the barn and look at everything differently. Oh, that just tickled me to death. I love it. I love it. I asked for pictures. I haven't seen any pictures yet. You missed the beginning. It's muslin, Lisa. It's just muslin. Do I wanna leave that? I'll just leave that on there. It's muslin. Um, like this is what muslin material would typically look like. It's thin. Don't look at my fingernails, they're growing out. <laughs> but it's thin. Um, and then I stain it either with coffee or tea or a spritzer, like an ink spritzer. And then I wring it out, I get them wet, and then I wring them out, and then I, I wrap rubber bands around them. And that's what makes them stay wrinkly. So, you know, sometimes our crafts, like when I do my lampshades and stuff, it's they're usually like this, because I love that white, um, there we go, cottagey sort of feel. I've got a ton of lampshades. I need to take you guys on a tour of the house just every once in a while um, and show you guys some things. It's been a long time since I've done that. And um, I need to do that. So anyway, here's this book. Oh, I just said anyway. But that's what my husband gets on me the most for saying is anyway. So where's my, oh, here's my other book. Okay, so see how these two, even though they're like completely different, they marry together really well. See how I can, I can use both of these. Um, either, I could stack them. See, I have to get the right sides. Get the right side. So I could stack them together i mean just to put that on a table if you just put that on a table right with nothing else or maybe a little greenery like a little plant isn't that beautiful and so unique and no one's gonna have this you guys and i don't know how long this video what this video was you guys will have to look back but um yeah i'm telling you it's not bad i mean it's not it's doable totally doable i know i didn't finish the bottom of my book but I let, let's see, I'll leave this here so you guys can just swoon over it. You can swoon, but all I did was rip the, I ripped the cover, this cover off, and then I ripped this backing off, and then I ripped this backing off, and I saved them. If you do that and you have old books, save your jackets. I haven't come up with what I'm gonna do yet, but since I have this new, um, you know, waxing, where I'm embedding stuff into the waxes, um, I got all these ready to sell. I just don't have them on yet. They're ten dollars. They're going to be ten dollars each. But um, I'm thinking about doing something like that using the old book jackets. Okay, so I've got to figure it out yet. But yeah, thank you, Sherry. I'm so glad you found me. There's Patricia. Hello from Texas. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So you're, since you're just joining, she's like totally lost. What the heck is going on? Because we're wrapping them up. Thank you, Ginger. But I do have a few more to do. Um, so Patricia, just so that you know, um, the door plates, I have one right here. I'll show you. Here's a door plate. So I take the old, um, like door plates, you know, like old plate. And then I adhere all the uh, things, just whatever. Um, the other two that I did that night, you'll have to look back at my videos, but the other two that I did the other night, I don't know what day it was, but um, I try to keep, put my prices, what I've got in them, so when I'm tired of them, I can sell them, put them online. Um, 
But anyway, I've got, just got old watch parts, but the other one I put, I think I put a little doorknob in the hole, and then the other one I put a light bulb, a little, a little tiny, real cute shaped old light bulb in there. Um, you just never know what is gonna be in here. Um, yes, you're the one with your grandparents, Darla. I remember that, that's awesome. And yeah, put your vintage jewelry. Uh, this clock face just happened to fit on top of this brooch and the button, the, the rhinestone was missing there. So I put that together um, and that's what I got. And so it's just a little shelf setter. Um, let me see here, let me see here if I can show you. You just can't get, you just can't get it. Rotate your phone. There we are. Okay, I'm back. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm trying to take you for I'm trying to take you on a field trip. Okay, we're gonna go on a little field trip to my dining room. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. So we're on a field trip together. Isn't this fun? Let's see, that's upside down. So let me put this back. So here's the bottles that we're chatting about. <clears throat> There's an old book. But see, I don't dare rip into a book like that, because that's just awesome. But there's um there's the bottles and there's all sizes like this bottle here is my it's probably the favorite that I made out of all of them that whole time and then I always do buttons well I can't say always because sometimes they don't need them but I usually do buttons up the seams um there's a cute little one back there but yeah so I have all the oh I forgot to turn my candle on but anyway so uh, there's an oh and I just said anyway again that's like three times he's right I do say that a lot so <laughs> there's um three more bottles and then I have one more up here um love this one love that it was an old valve and then I put a button in the end of it see that that was open there it is it was open so I put an old button in it and um and then here's my pot someone was messaging me about these uh, glass pots and this. These things are unearthed. In England, you go, they call it mudlarking and they go digging through the mud and they find, that's why it's cracked and chipped. Um, they usually have something wrong with them, usually. And look at this one even had a lid that fit. Like how cool is that? That's crazy. I don't know that the lid goes with that. Let me see. Ah. Uh... No, the lid doesn't go, it's not the same company, but the lid fits it, so I use it. So anyway, oh, here's another little tip. Go get yourself some really cool silk flowers and stick them down in wa real water, and they look real, but these are silk. <laughs> See? There's all kinds of things you can learn from me. So stick with me, kids. I'll show you everything I know. <laughs> How's that for a field trip? <laughs> That's the kind of field trip to take, right? <laughs> So, all right, I'm gonna go. We didn't make it to 100, so I'll keep all of these things. Maybe we'll do another video one of these days and I'll um, I'll have the rest of the spring stuff because I, I don't know what to do with it, really. I mean, I, I still love it. It's not that, I just, if you saw the rest of my house, which my husband's out there, so I'm not gonna take you on a field trip out there. We're not gonna go that far these, today. I'll, when I redo my mantle, I've been going through and picking, I've been picking my own house. So I've been going through and pulling things that I'm gonna um, have to work with for my mantle. And so once I get everything I can think of that I might want out there, I'll probably go live and decorate my mantle and show you guys a lot of things. You learn a lot of things. Um, you thought it was epoxy. Mm, you thought what was epoxy? Um, I'm not, oh, maybe on these boards, uh, it's actually wax. It's actually an art wax. I bet that's what she's talking about. And then I embedded like these patches that we made um, on my copier. I taught you guys how to do that on the video if you look back or you can join my little group. Go to my website, TammyLoves.com and join my little group. Be one of my little friends. We have fun in there. So anyway, um, you, get a lot, you get a lot of detailed. Usually whatever we make in there, I bring here too. It's just that... Um, Sometimes I just show you the pictures. Hey, look what we made over there. Like I'm teasing you, right? Come come join us because of course I want you over there. Um, these craft supplies get expensive. So <laughs> it helps. It helps us stay alive. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I try to bring you all the good stuff over there and all of the details and stuff. And then over here, 
um, I just kind of show it off and um, maybe like a year ago I did these books over there so it's okay to do it I feel like you know a whole year there's only so many crafts in the world right so um, I don't think that the girls mind I think they're so happy to get them and they got them a year ahead of you so it's fine so eventually they'll be here and a lot of things I've already done. Some of the things in the in my paid group actually are on here. They're just so far back ago. Because, I mean, I've had this page. I don't even know how many. Well, I don't even remember now. I did scroll back one time to look. I can't remember now how long ago it's been. I want to say, like, um, well, it was before 2013. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to misspeak. I don't remember but I've been on here a long time. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not new. You might just be finding me and thinking I'm new, but I'm old. I've been around the block here. So yeah, if you're ever bored and you think you can take me, cause I'm a lot, I know that. I, I hate that about me, but um, there are some really great videos on there. And I counted once there was almost 650. I bet I've way blown that out by now. <laughs> so that's a lot of crafting guys so yeah you don't have to wait on me to come out with a new one if you're missing me and I haven't been on for a few days just go back and look for an old one because they're all in here so I'm almost done I just want to go ahead and finish this now just because I can't stand it and I only had a couple more to oh wouldn't you know I have to do two on the last page so we just randomly punched holes so there's probably a million on YouTube. Yes, we're working on getting all of ours actually over there. Beth just posted one today, this morning for me. And um, she's been working on that. Um, so that's good. I have someone helping me. I finally have a girl gonna be um, able to start helping me here in a week. She's starting regularly, so that'll be fabulous. So you girls will see me a lot more because I'm gonna have help. That'll be great. So you can see me over in my Chalk Couture group, messing around with that. Okay, so there you go. I got a little bit of tweaking to do with the paint, like I said, around the edges where I was rushing. Um, but, so we'll go paint that in, and I think these are gonna just display super nice. And I'm probably gonna stay up here and cover these other two, but I'm just going to cover those to be like this, I think. I'm not going to do all of the shreds and all that stuff. First time here, hi, Lynn. Can't wait to see more. Oh, that's so great. Yes, I love all the old. <laughs> there is a lot to see, and yes, I have a lot of old stuff. Um, what am I doing with my books and chapters? Well, I'm just using them for display. I'll ha um, you'll have to. You'll have to see, you'll have to watch when I do my fireplace, but like the book that I just showed you on our little field trip. <laughs> so you can see them, um, but I have books all over my house. I use them all the time and I've, I've evolved. I first started using books, you know, like the Danielle Steele books like this. And I always take the jacket off and then I use these books to decorate with. And then um, I started buying antique books with my friend Julie. We um, started falling in love with all of the pretty jackets. And then we evolved from just pretty jackets to leather. We started learning about antique leather books. So we both bought up all kinds of leather books. And um, so, and then we're making our own, we're making our own, we're covering our own. And then I'm going even farther and actually making my own books, not writing them, but making them like this. So we're in the middle of making this right now in my online group. And so we've got our pages are full. We're to the, we're to the part where we've ripped all of our watercolor boards and we folded them and we've got them punched. So that's where we are. And then next month, we are going to start the sewing and doing, they're called signatures. So this is your signature. <clears throat> and we're gonna do, I'm gonna teach them how to do the signature part to pull their whole book together. So that's in my group. Um, if you go to TammyLoves.com and you click on the little three bars at the top and you'll find um, Tammy Loves Vintage Treasures and that's my group. So you love the, Oh, you love the kite? Oh, thank you. I made it in my group. Actually, you wanna see? I mean, there's enough of you on here. I have a whole pile of kites. I've not shown them yet to anybody. Hang on and I'll let you see. Hey, 
here are all of my kites. Now let me get these. Let's see where are you? There you are. So I've made all of these kites. I'm going to be listing them for sale. They're $25 a piece. Okay. And so they're all with vintage um, doilies and old handmade lace. Not, I can't guarantee that all of the lace is old. Like I know this lace isn't old and I know this lace isn't old. Um, but, and then there's a lot of muslin shreds for the girl that says, what do you do with muslin shreds? I have just given you like 15 things to do with muslin shreds. Plus look at my lampshade back there. That's got some muslin <laughs> shreds on it too. I'm a muslin shred lover, right? So this is, so, and I just hung it on the wall. Like you can see, I have a kite. Yeah, see it in the corner back there behind me? And then I just draped the tails. So um, vintage dresser scarves. Yes, that's what they were. They were embroidered. Yes, table runners or whatever. Um, you, a lot of, some of them were pillowcases. Some of them were um, like tea towels. And so anyway, this is the, this is one and you have the tails to do whatever. Okay. So if you want to see that, you have to go to my group because that was supposed to be like our, um, February project. And then I personally wanted to start making the, the books. Here's my other one. I didn't show you it. It's still drying. We have to do this plaster stuff on the back side. but here's the cover of my other book. And then this is the back. So, and then all of the pages, I don't know where the pages are right now. But anyway, so this will be my book once it's all assembled. Um, they're really cool. I, I had never seen anything like it. So I got so excited. So not only did they get the kites this month, but they also got the book thing. So that's why I had so many people join this time because they were loving for $15. I paid a lot more than $15 to learn how to do it. So here's this one. Look at the colors on that. Isn't that pretty? It's all just bits and pieces. I cut them all up and then I piece them together and try to make a design, you know. So it's all, yeah, it's all this handmade stuff. Um, it's all handmade for the most part. I use as much handmade and then I make them into something better. So yeah, I've been to the, I've been doing a lot of linen searching through the antique stores here locally until this happened. But yeah, I love this one. So yeah, if you're interested in any of them, they're 25 and um, just just screenshot it or message me and say I want the one with the whatever. Here's another one. I love how this lace hangs. Like I feel like that has to hang this way, but I love that. Isn't that pretty? I could, I guess I could have hot glued some buttons in there. You guys, you can just keep going and going and going with them. So here's this, oh, I need to cut those shreds up. Oh, that's from the, that's from the tie. I'll probably cut those out. I don't know. I'll let somebody else cut them out if they want them out. But so there's this one. It's only got two gathers. I need to gather that one more time, I think. Or did I only do two? I don't know. It's been, it's been since the beginning of the month that I made these. And then here's this one. Last one. I only have um, one, two, three. I have four. So this is the last one. Aren't they cool? I, I tell you, I wanted to put it. Here's where I was going to do with it. So let me um, put you up there okay and I was going to put it here like with my sprout well you can't see <laughs> but yeah like up here or, you know kind of going around my frame but I don't know I kind of liked it better over there so I moved it so I moved it there you go so I didn't need to but that was why I had made two originally and and I didn't know you know how much how much of this stuff do I need to make them I wasn't sure, so I bought too much. So I kept, I kept making them, and I had bought enough to make one, two, three. I made five kites all together. But I've got the, the plain cream-colored one up there. I'll keep it just through spring. You guys might see me list it for sale in the summertime. Um, if somebody wants it, I'll put your name on it. You can have it when I'm tired of it. <laughs> so but thank you. You like the kites. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. They were fun to make. They were really fun to make. And it'll probably be next spring and I'll make them in here on my page. So if you don't want to spend the $15 to um, learn how to do it now, you wait. And then next spring I will make them again and I'll show you guys how to do it. 
that's how it's working in, in our in our world. So anyway, um, if you're interested, again, message me if you want one. It's perfectly great. I'll be happy to send them to you. I've been sending stuff out every day. But I'm going to wrap it up and go. Um, yep, we didn't hit our hundred, so I'm only going to give to the two girls, Stacy Young and Penny Morrison. And that was fun. I've not done that. I think one or two times I threw out a giveaway just out of the blue, but um, I'll reach out to you girls or you send me your messages uh, with your addresses and I'll try to get those boxed up yet tonight. So, all right, but I do wanna get my books covered so I can maybe do my mantle. I'm not doing my mantle while my husband's home. Not happening. He's gotta be gone because I like to lay stuff out and pick and change my mind and all that. And it's right in the living room and that's where he would be. Mm -mm. I can't have all of you guys plus him. That's too much pressure for me. <laughs> I won't be a good, I won't do a good job decorating if I got all that stress, right? <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna go. Thank you. So nice to meet so many new people. Thank you so much for watching. And I thank your friends so much for um, sprinkling <laughs> for the, when they did this for me so that I could meet you. I appreciate that. And I know that's how a lot of you found me was when your friends did that for you. So, um, <laughs> Stacy, I will, I will tell him that that is hysterical. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know I made them. He doesn't even know, but I'm going to show him. <laughs> tell him he's listening he that have the tv's not on so he can hear me he's probably hash marking how many times i said anyway <laughs> that's when i get off i hear everything that i said wrong or that i shouldn't say that much or whatever he's trying to critique me <laughs> i need to just say anyway just to make him mad so anyway i'm gonna go <laughs> so anyway i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> anyway have a great night <laughs> thanks for watching you guys bye <laughs>